Welcome back guys to building the dream YouTube and gaming setup. So I've actually only just officially moved into this place. I'm now sleeping here just this week. It took them the longest time to fix internet, which was really frustrating because I was having to go home to work and edit videos and stuff. So I'm finally moved here officially and I really want to ramp up this setup. So let's take a look at the progress so far. So here's the chair that we unboxed in the last episode, and this is the progress. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, Silent Core, why do you have like the biggest desk in the world, and then just a laptop here? <laughs> well, this is actually my temporary setup. This is kind of actually my travel setup. So whenever I go, I go traveling or go to events, this is what I take. I take my microphone, my laptop, and my hard drive. And um, last month, I was out of the country for like two and a half weeks. So I went to EA Play, and I got to play Battlefield 1, as you guys will see from my videos, and then I went to E3, got to play a bunch of games like Watch Dogs 2, and then I also went to VidCon as well, so I ended up taking this setup to about five different hotels, and uh, this is just my mobile setup. This is, this is how I make videos when I'm at events or out of the country. So as this series progresses, I will be building this out into something really awesome, and as for now, this is just what I'm working with. These are the kind of bare essentials of my setup. Just to give you guys a closer look, this is my Lenovo Y700. Um, it's got an Intel Core i7 processor, it's uh, great for gaming. My, the only drawback for it is this thing is so heavy, it's like the heaviest laptop I've ever had, even just having it in a backpack, it's uh, it's super heavy. But it does make up for it just being an awesome laptop, you know, this thing's great for gaming, it's great for rendering videos, it's great for uploading gameplay and stuff like that, it's just, it's just the perfect mobile setup and even works uh, great for being a home setup as well for the time being. This is my microphone, it's a Razer Siren. Now it's actually got a bit of a fault with it at the moment. If you guys have noticed from my last few videos, it kinda is giving like a weird sort of crackle effect sometimes. So I'm trying to get Razer to replace this. And if they don't, I might just go and get a different type of microphone. So this is um, subject to be changed. And then the other essential is my Transcend um, hard drive. This is the box here actually. So this is actually a portable extended um, SSD, so a solid state drive, because this laptop doesn't have an SSD, so it's really um, helpful to have an actual SSD that this is what I put all my videos on, it's what I record gameplay on. Um, I take this, because it's so small and portable, like, look at the size of this thing, it's so like small and portable, I take this to events, uh, record gameplay on it, and it's really quick for um, capturing and copying gameplay across, so this thing's perfect um, for being a YouTuber. But yeah, this is pretty much my setup for when I'm on the move. So the thing about this room is it's not just my gaming room, I want it to also be um, you know, my YouTube setup, almost like my YouTube um, studio that I use to make all my videos. So I want to make like a really cool setup that I can have here, um, you know, permanently set up so when I come to record a video or do like more real life videos, um, it has you know, like a cool setup and a cool background. And one thing I really want to kind of avoid is just being seen as like a gameplay channel or like I used to be known as just the RuneScape channel and I don't want to now be known as, you know, like a GTA channel or a Red Dead News channel. I want to be known as like Silent Core and I want you guys to be able to know and recognize me. So I want to start doing a lot more real life stuff in my videos, a lot more real life videos. I'm going to take you guys to a lot more events that I go to because I actually go to quite a lot of events and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me so you guys can see what it's like to be a YouTuber and what it's like to go to events. So incorporating the real life sort of stuff into your videos can take a bit more work or recording and editing and production into doing your videos but hopefully it'll be worth it for you guys because you get to you know see a much more polished and final version of the videos and it's much more enjoyable and sort of engaging for you guys to watch. And one thing I really want to do is kind of make use of this space right here. So this is kind of the space between my bed and where my kind of desk starts. So I, I feel like this is sort of an, an empty space I'd really love to make use of and have maybe like a, a, a table or like a, a shelf in here that I can fill with like gaming memorabilia and it'll kind of double up as like a, a cool background for my videos. So just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about, this is the space that I'd like to make use of. So my bed it starts here and then my desk starts there. I've got all this empty room. I'm probably going to ditch that lamp, but I want to make use of this space. And you guys know the drill by now. When you need furniture, there's only one place to go. As usual, it's raining in Scotland. Those guys had the right idea. They were literally just sitting watching TV while their wives did all the work. I'm gonna go for one of these. Only 39 quid. So 
guys, we've been to Ikea and we have conquered the shelf. I'm just on the city bypass right now, driving uh, back to my flat. So I'm still new to this whole vlogging thing, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel so damn awkward <laughs> vlogging in public or just in front of people. Like some of the looks you get is just are just really, really weird. But I feel like it's one of those things, you know, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it and the better they become. So hopefully these videos will just uh, get better naturally as I just, as I just keep naturally doing them. It doesn't really look it here, but trust me guys, this thing is so heavy. I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> so I have a feeling, just looking at the kind of length of this, or the height of this, I might have to move this picture, it looks pretty tall. So yeah, this lamp's definitely going, this picture might have to go as well. So this is actually a few hours later, I ended up going to the gym for training, and I've just come home, but I really want to get this done tonight. It's about half past ten at night, but I think it's time to put this together. I've got my tools over there, here's the box down here. So let's do this. I also actually have a confession to make. I've never put anything together from Ikea myself. So I'm a little bit nervous about this. I love these instructions. They literally tell you not to like use your shelf as a step ladder and climb up it. Could be a bad idea. Alright guys, so today is actually the next day. I got this finished really late last night. I think it was maybe about half past 11 at night that I actually got this finished. So I thought I'd just wait until the next day to show you guys. But here it is, here is the final product. As you can see, it's a kind of four by two um, shelf. I didn't really want like a three by three. I thought it would fit better in the room, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. It was pretty easy to put together as well. You pretty much just put the, the horizontal slat and then the vertical slat and then just continue that up. So it was pretty simple to put together. Now the cool thing about the shelf is you can actually have it either way. So you can have it like lying horizontally and have a long shelf, or you can have it standing up like this to get a tall shelf. So you can have it either way. And you also get all these brackets because you're supposed to kind of fix it to your wall just to make it a bit more secure. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with that though. So guys, here is the final shelf in its finished place. I'm pretty happy with it, I think it's a good height and I'm going to be able to get a lot of storage in here and stuff. Another thing you can actually do with this shelf is buy sort of inserts, so in, you can actually buy an insert into any of these sort of quadrants. You can get um, one with like two drawers or one with a door that opens or even one like a little basket thing that slides in and out as like a drawer. I didn't end up buying any but I think I might get some drawers for the bottom ones just for general extra storage for my room because I actually only have these drawers in my room so it would be good to have some extra storage space. But as for the rest of it, I really like it being open like this and I can, you know, put gaming memorabilia on here and have a nice sort of show cabinet and it'll also make for a nice background for my YouTube videos when I'm filming. And unfortunately my shelf doesn't quite fit under my painting so I'm probably gonna have to maybe take that off. Also guys, this just arrived in the post today so I thought I'd show it in this video. I finally got the Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year edition just in time for it coming on Xbox One backwards compatible so I'm pretty excited to play through this again. And uh, the Game of the Year edition also comes with um, the multiplayer and also the Undead Nightmare DLC, so you kind of get everything in this one thing. I made a video about this a few days ago, but if you are interested in getting the Game of Year Edition, I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon link that I use to buy this. So I think it's time to try and fill this shelf. <laughs> So here is my finished shelf. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here. I really need to work on collecting some more gaming models and figurines and stuff, but uh, this is just some stuff I got from events. So my watchdogs, my Aiden Pierce figurine in there. There's also my little Bethesda cubby hole. Uh, I've got the Elder Scrolls edition and also some really awesome figurines that I got from E3 last year. So there's Doom, Fallout, and Dishonored. I really love these little guys. 
I also have some random stuff down here that I found. So this is the Destiny Ghost and also a little Rubik's Cube I got from Ubisoft. It's still in its actual wrapper, but it's got a bunch of different games on here. I thought it was kind of cool. And then I've also got a little YouTube trophy um, that I got from YouTube Space LA. And of course I had to put this in here. It was my 100,000 subscriber um, plaque from YouTube. Now, I really want to have this in the background just because this is you guys. You know, everyone that is subscribed to my channel, you are a part of this. You are a part of this trophy. So you guys made this happen, so I really want this to be, just to kind of be in there and a part of my setup as well, because it's, it's really important to me. This thing's really, really special to me. So I actually totally forgot I had these little pillow things. So I got this little um, devil emoji pillow and also this, uh, this little Instagram pillow here. And if you guys watch any vloggers on YouTube, you'll know you're not officially a vlogger until you get some of these pillows in your setup. <laughs> So I think that's everything I've got for you guys this episode. I think we made some pretty good progress this episode. You know, we've got the shelf built, we've got some stuff in it. It's looking a bit more nicer as a setup or as a YouTube setup. And you guys are totally welcome to leave down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions on this setup, if you have anything you, should, you think I should buy or get for this setup, let me know down in the comments and I will look into it for sure. If you enjoyed this video, please take one second to leave it a like, it's much appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.